I'm Cliff Reed. I'm an emergency physician. I currently work in Sydney, Australia. And I gave a talk today at the college conference about rapid sequence induction, RSI. Does one size fit all? That was the question I was asked to address. And what I thought that meant was, can we take RSI and do it one standard way and then apply it to all the patients that come into the emergency department? And initially that sounds a bit silly, but what you can do is you can have a standard approach from which you then deviate, whether it's a child um, or an adult or an obese patient or a patient with respiratory disease, a trauma patient and so on. But if you start with a baseline that's consistent and that everybody understands, the whole team's on the same page. And that makes for more safety for the patient and everybody is sharing a mental model. So what I addressed was that Emergency medicine in the UK does RSI in quite a lot of departments, but in some departments it doesn't. But the proportion of emergency physicians doing RSI probably is increasing. And there's a big body of literature that shows us that we can do it safely. When we're compared with anaesthetists, either in the ED or even in the pre-hospital environment, our complication rates are about the same. So we know we can do it safely, we just have to work within a safe system. And those systems have been tried and tested out there in pre-hospital care. For example, in helicopter emergency medical services for some decades now with hundreds of thousands of patients that have taught us how to do this safely and how to work to a clear policy, a clear operating procedure. So my suggestion was that we import some of those procedures into the ED. We work to a standard approach from which we can then deviate if we need to. But if we train together with our colleagues in other critical care specialties, in simulation, in our own environments, with our own equipment, our own teams, in our own resource rooms, then we'll be a more effective team. And if we stick to a standard operating procedure, use a common language, and once again use this term, sharing a mental model, that's got to be better for the patient. If you want to hear more about this or read more, you can check out a link on the website to a list of references from the talk that I gave today. Does RSI one size fit all? Probably not, but you can get a fairly standard size approach to most patients, uh, which is probably a good way to optimize safety.